Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's topic is about personal information, how you can change the personal information of your employee or as well as uh, of yourself. So this task, whatever I'm going to show you today, this will be for the end user as well as for the workday analyst or HRS analyst so they can make a changes into the system. So again, there is two type of things here, either uh, employee as a self is changing his personal information or her personal information or second one is hris analyst is changing the personal information of their employee okay so personal information means it could be name it could be uh, emergency contact detail date of birth or matter status anything so how we can change it let's see so for that whoever is the person we want to change the personal information of we have to search a name of that person so let's say so let's just take add in today so if i see add in's personal information so you see the button here edit so uh, because uh, here in this uh, tenant setup uh, I'm the manager of Eden, so I would have that access that I could make a changes into the personal information. Same like that, Eden as a employee as a self also will have access, so he can change gender, birth, age, matter, status, or other thing. So, but uh, not every time you will find out the option. If it is not there, then we have a second option. So, go to the employee's account or user account again go to this action button this menu will appear so if you scroll down you will find out the option personal data so in that personal data if you see you can change the home contact detail you can change the work contact detail emergency contact detail if you want to make changes or if you want to make changes into the personal information if you want to uh, delete the photo or edit the photo maintain the name suppose if you Oh, uh, you know, suppose somebody got married and after marriage, uh, she wants to change the name. So you can maintain the name means you can change the name of that person as well. The legal name. Edit photo if you want to change your profile photo. So that also can happen here. ID information, the personal information, government IDs you can change. You can edit the passport and visa detail, government ID detail, anything you can make a changes from here. So let's just take some actions related to the personal information change. So if you want to make changes into the gender or if you want to make changes into date of birth. Well, suppose let's just say I have to take, make some changes into the date of birth. Let's say I'm changing the marital status as married. Okay, if you want to change the race or ethnicity, that also can be changed. Citizenship change, relatives name, any sexual orientation, gender identity, pronoun also you can add. If there is any disability or military services, those type of changes you can make here. So the changes I have made is like a marital status. And then I have made the changes into the date of birth. So now I'm submitting the information. So if I view the details. This is under progress. So uh, here you see under process, Aiden is going to, we need a uh, approval form Aiden as we change the information of Aiden. So we need a approval of that. So when, because we are making the changes into the personal information of any employee. So we need a info, you know, permission of that person. So if you see the process, how it looks, so you'll go to the workers history 
So you see, we just changed a personal information of Eden and it is under progress and it is assigned to Eden. When Eden will make a approval of that personal information, then we can see the changes into the system. So this is how you can make a process to change the personal information of any employee in Workday. Thank you.